so today was a rough day and so I, I was tired from getting home at 11 something and then having laundry to do um and then I work at 7 30 this morning so a little short on sleep fine whatever um then I get to work after being rushed out of the house because that's a headache for another time then at multiple points throughout the day the registers kept breaking down so i had to keep like effectively acting as tech support and honestly one of them was still straight up not working when i left and there was nothing i could do because it was something i didn't have control over and that's frustrating so i got home took a nap felt a little better went and played zelda that was good But, like, the fact that the day went, like, that crappy, it was thing after thing after thing after thing after thing. And it's just like, ugh. I'm ready for today to be over. It is late. It is, like, three-something. So I, I do need to go to bed because I have to be up around ten. Because the, um, there is a special edition PlayStation controller that I want to get. And I want to get it. <laughs> so I can't, like, not be aware of what's going on because it will go out of stock like most things do. So I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to hope that I can um, get one. So you saw that I was trying to get the controller this morning on multiple browsers and devices. Uh, I ended up getting it. <laughs> Not through uh, Sony's thing. Got it through Walmart while I was waiting there. I, I got in Discord with Patrick and he um, he was chatting with Marino while we were all waiting. Uh, he was talking through text, and then me and Patrick were in the call, and, um, uh, Marina was like, Walmart has it, so I went to Walmart, and I got, I, I pre-ordered mine, it's gonna be here near my birthday, um, so that's cool, but I got mine, Patrick got his, Patrick got an extra one in case somebody wanted it and didn't get it um and then just as the day went on there were a million things going on and my head started hurting probably from lack of sleep because i didn't sleep well last night and i didn't sleep well the night before um so i just i, I feel like crap to be act, like blunt so I'm gonna try to go to bed and it's only like nine something we just finished eating dinner I, I would be surprised if I make it to 10 30 like being brutally honest so I'm gonna go to bed and hope I feel better tomorrow which I think I have delivery coming tomorrow, so I guess look forward to whatever tomorrow is. I got a thing today. And if you know that logo, you already know what it is. The Hobonichi Techo 2025. Let's open it. Alright, I opened it. Let's see what we got. Before you think of anything, right? That made me happy. Don't ask yourself what made you happy until afterward. Then write down the answer, even if you really have to dig for one. You could also try it, that made me sad, or that was delicious. I'm gonna start with this, because this is like the order bonus from ordering from their website directly. If you get it from another retailer, you don't get this.
it is a little mini thing. A little mini book of uh, grid paper. Nice to have. And here's the main event. Lifebook, Google Nietzsche Techo, five year version. Here's a little like test tube. Give you a like, good idea of what it's like inside the book. And here's the book itself. You now you might ask yourself, what is this? So this is like a physical journal type of thing. They call it a life book. But basically it's like you go through it and you have entries for for this specific version, the five year version, every year on a particular date. So this is January 12th for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and so on. And, e and there's a little markers here for where each month is. So it's, it's a nice little way to like look back at things in the past, which, you know, I run this vlog. Clearly I enjoy doing that. So this is something that's been on my radar for a while that I decided to get this year because one, I like the, uh, this, but two, I figured there's a, a new five year coming out, might as well. You know, starting on a five is a nice rounded number. So, I'm excited about this. I know you can't see me, and that's because the power just went out. Uh, it's after work, and I was chilling on my computer because I didn't get home till I normally stream around 11.30 and it was 11.20ish. So I was like, all right, I'm canceling stream. I am gonna take a while to like chill because it was a long day. And then it is currently 12.36. So I've only been home about an hour. And the power went out. The only thing you could see is that the switch in the dock is like battery power up. Battery power up. Okay, good job, me. You can see that the screen is on because it registered as being unplugged. Anyway, my phone is on 20%, so I'm gonna stop recording on this one, get the other one, and pray. I just wanna give a shout out to Big Battery. I don't remember what brand it is, but. It's the only reason that this phone is like gonna survive because you see that 16%. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, big battery. This box here was something I was gonna show you and then the power went out. So I'm like, guess I'm not doing that now. Rip. And I'm trying not to use the battery on this phone too much because I want it to actually charge because I don't know when the power is coming back. So, this is a bit of a predicament. So, we got a notification saying that the power will be restored by 3 a.m. It's about 1 now, so it's got to be about 2 hours. So, I am going to call it here and go to bed. Because there's no reason for me to stay up till 3 a.m. Yay. I, uh, as you can see, I'm already in my bedroom and have seen that for a bit now but um there we go now you can kind of see me hopefully but um yeah we went outside and investigated it's most of the block a couple of houses have their own generators so yeah it's not it's not gonna be back till 3 a.m so good night and just a quick update it's now saying 4 a.m. So it was definitely the right call to just go to bed. So what you might not know is that after Kingdom Hearts, me and Amber watched through the cutscenes of 
Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. And part of it we did on stream, but part of it we did in a private recording. Uh, the part that we did on stream was the this Riku side, which is like the shorter half. Um, we did the longer half as a, as a recording in private. And I'm working through that right now. With Luna unable to work on anything, I figured it would be a good idea to work on this. And I've gotten the first bit done. I am going to cut it up into episodes. Um, because with the raw recording being like five hours and then the raw recording for the recoup side being another three, I figured this would just be better as it's like the better way to present it for plays. Because, especially because somebody who's watching it probably already knows the game or gonna just want to look at the highlights anyway. So, that's what I decided. I'm gonna cut it up like that, and hopefully uh, it'll come out good. I'm hoping, but only time will tell. Uh, I'm gonna export that first episode and, like, give it to a test audience to see. We'll see. Uh, I'm also gonna finish this up send that as well so that they have the base there the first episode which has like the introduction of what's going on and that first bit we did like sit through the opening cutscene on the Game Boy Advance just to be like hey this is kind of why we're not doing this and then skip to the cutscenes on that we watched on YouTube for now I'm gonna get back to work and finish up this second episode so that I have an example of like a full episode of, of the cutscene watching. So the other day I went to the store with a friend of mine and I came across a thing. And that thing is a new type of drink. Duncan Spiked Iced Coffees. I got a pack of them and they came in four different flavors. Vanilla, mocha, caramel, and original, whatever original is. Now, I tried the vanilla one, and it came out like a, um, kind of like a cream soda kind of flavor. Like, adding the alcohol to the, the vanilla-y flavor. So I was like, okay, I'll try the others and get my, like, initial reactions on camera. So, here I am with the mocha. And I'm gonna hope that this doesn't explode because they make you shake it and it's a can, so shaking it could be. Uh oh. <laughs> you know? So give me a second. It's okay. The alcohol, like, outweighs the mocha in this one, which is odd. Not sure how I feel about that. Oh well. It's not terrible. I'll definitely drink it. I'll definitely drink it. Okay. Not bad. Anyway. We got the group together, we're playing Call of Duty. We're not streaming or recording or anything, we're just playing to play. So let me get back to that. I went to restart the game and it automatically started validating. Given that it is 10 to 1, I, uh, I'm gonna be a while. I guess I'm done. Guess I'm gonna go to bed. Hi. So we're about to head out. Um, we gotta bring Peabody to the vet. And the reason for that is this picture I'm about to show you. He, um, he had been biting at his tail, which was concerning. And because of that, we decided, all right, let's give him like a flea tick treatment shampoo thing and then it looked like the bald spot that he had chewed um start, was starting to grow back so we're like okay hopefully that fixed it let's wait and see and um 
now we've waited and, and, and seen and made the decision. Yeah, let's bring him to the vet. So, get ready to go now. It's a little after 3.30. Not quite 3.40 yet. <sighs> let's see how this shit show goes. He doesn't want to come out from under these chairs. Because he's, uh, not happy. Right, Peabody? Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> You're not happy. So, we, we brought him to the vet. And it, uh, it's not the worst thing, but it is a little annoying. It's, um, it, it was, it was, it was police. So we now have to treat all the dogs, wash all the shit, wash all the laundry, and just, like, treat the entire house. Which is kind of annoying. Not difficult, just a little annoying. <sighs> it is what it is deal with it. We always do. With uh, every issue that comes our way. But that's going to be it for today because I do have work in the morning. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you have yourself a damn good one. And I'll see you.